Jen from KetoCookingWins.com and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite side dishes. This is skillet cabbage with smoked sausage. A handful of ingredients, less than 20 minutes, and you'll be having a delicious side dish or entree on the table in no time. Just look at that. Stick around, I'm going to show you how to make skillet cabbage with sausage. Welcome back. Let me show you how to make this skillet cabbage with smoked sausage. Crazy easy dish to make. It's loaded with flavor and I don't know anybody who doesn't like it. Even cabbage lover, even cabbage haters end up loving this dish. First I'm going to show you how to deal with this guy. This is a big old head of cabbage. That's a big one. So he's got some yucky outside leaves on there. We're just going to pull those off. And you might need to get your knife involved here. Just pull the outside leaf off. Consider it the wrapping on the package. Pull it off. You don't want to eat that. They're usually discolored, maybe beaten up a little bit. Maybe not always so clean. So that goes in the compost. So now I've got a big old head of cabbage. You need a knife. I'm going to put a link to my favorite Henkel's knives down below. They offer great value for the money. It's a solid knife. I have sharpened this knife, put an edge on it so many times it still holds up beautifully. Now this is about enough cabbage to feed, hmm, I don't know, 14 people. So we don't need that much. So I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna effort to do this without losing my fingertips. There we go. Cut it in half. And now you can see the core in this cabbage. Or you're just gonna cut that core out it's a triangle shape, so just take a triangle shape out of the cabbage, and that's all you need to do. Okay, so now we have about enough cabbage here. This is a little less than half of that big old head. This is going to give us about four cups of cabbage when it's chopped, which is just about what we need. So go ahead and slice it this way, kind of thinly. There you go. And then to make it easy to eat, you can just put another chop on it this way and I'm quickly running out of space on my cutting board. So I'm going to grab Mr. Tasty come on over and heat him up we don't want the pan too hot because we don't want our cabbage to burn. So I'm going to pop in here we're going to start with our smoked sausage the trick to this recipe is getting all the flavor out of the smoked sausage before you even add the cabbage. Butter, about two tablespoons, goes in there. I'm going to get a stirring device. Let's, this will work. Just let that butter and sausage do all sorts of good things in that pan. Let's bring this over a bit more. Chopping up the rest of that in a minute. Get this heated up. This is a great dish. It's easily doubleable if you need to take something to a potluck. It's perfect for meal prepping. And there's enough flavor in this, enough meat, enough protein, enough fat that it can even be a standalone meal. So we want to let all that flavor come out of the smoked sausage. It's going to mix with the butter. It's going to start to smell amazing in here. Use your favorite brand of smoked sausage. I used about two cups of smoked sausage that I cut into half moons just to make them easier to eat so I, you don't end up with a big hunk of sausage on your fork. You also don't want them too thin. These are probably about half an inch thick because you want them still to be nice and meaty. You don't want your smoked sausage to start to fall apart once you get that cabbage in there. Oh yeah, smoked sausage in a butter bath. What's not to love about that? And we got some sizzle going now. So I'm just gonna let this cook for another minute or two just to help bring out all of the flavor out of the sausage and then I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. The sauce, woo, got bits of butter flying everywhere. You know you're in a happy keto kitchen when there's butter flying. My sausage has been going for a couple of minutes. How can I tell that it's time to put in the cabbage? Well, my sausage has shrunk up a little bit. It's getting a little brown and crispy around the edges. 
And more importantly, I smell all that beautiful smoky sausagey goodness. So I'm going to add in my cabbage. It's about four cups of cabbage. Cabbage does the amazing shrinking trick just the way spinach does. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of chopped and dehydrated onion because this gives you lots of oniony flavor without all the extra carbs that come from fresh onion. Put a tablespoon of that in. What would onion be without its best friend garlic? A teaspoon of garlic powder. You can use fresh onion, fresh garlic too, go right ahead. You'd want to pop them in now with the cabbage as well. So we're just going to let this cook down. This is going to take probably five or six minutes anyway. Stir it all around, coat every piece of cabbage with that smoky buttery goodness. And tell me I can taste it already. Cabbage needs salt. Don't be afraid to hit this dish with some serious salt. Put in probably about half a teaspoon to start with, and then you can season it again at the end after the cabbage is cooked down. All right, and some pepper. There we go. How do you know when cabbage is cooked? How can you tell when this dish is cooked? Well, technically, you could eat it right now if you wanted to, but that cabbage would be still pretty darn crunchy. So what you want to look for is the greener leaves are going to turn a deeper, darker, brighter green. And the crunchier, whiter bits, you want to be soft. Not mushy, but tender crisp. And by tender crisp, I mean tender enough to bite into without there being a noticeable crunch, but not really crunchy. So it still has some firmness but not crunchy. So I'm going to give this a couple minutes to cook down and then I'll be right back. There we go. My cabbage has been cooking down about four or five minutes. The, f the smell in here is unbelievable. It is so good. You can see that the cabbage has shrunk probably by about half and so there's a fair bit of meat in here. This is a perfect side dish to anything. I love it with grilled steak or chicken or even just a grilled sausage. Some of my readers tell me, uh-uh, they just go for a big old bowl of this. But with flavor like this, I don't blame them. Let's give it a try, because we do have to check it for salt after all. Mm. The flavor in this dish is so good, it's incredible. But make sure you start with a good quality sausage, because it's all about the sausage. When that sausage cooks with the butter, that's a chef's trick by the way, you always cook the meat and the butter first when you get sausage or bacon, something like that, because it infuses all of the flavor through the butter and then the butter coats all of the cabbage so you're really spreading that flavor around. It's a delicious dish, it was easy. We made it in less than 20 minutes, a handful of ingredients, use a good quality sausage, and that's it. I hope you enjoy, please subscribe, and if you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, I promise. We made skillet cabbage with smoked sausage today. And Jen from KetoCookingWins.com. See you soon.